This story begins in a small village. Sava Savanovich was a successful cattle trader and a member of society who was very valued and appreciated for both his courage and his wealth. Sava lived unmarried with his brother and his brother's family in a common house. And it's safe to say that Sava went from just a normal person to the most famous vampire in Balkans folklore and history. The Balkan Peninsula is a geographical area in southeastern Europe that have mountains that stretch and reach far all the way to Bulgaria. This story takes place one day after a night waiting outside. Sava sought after a young woman who was driving cattle to the pastor. After a short exchange of casual words, this encounter turned into a bizarre incident where he ended up targeting and shooting the young woman and multiple people around him. The reason we believe that he attacked this woman was that there was speculation that leading up to this day, he actually tried to get the hand in marriage of the daughter of a local merchant, but she rejected him because of the huge age difference and people around said after that moment, he became deep dark, sinister, and really changed an aspect of who he was. He was very bitter, quarrelsome, and spiteful. People around the village began to fear him. So maybe seeing this other young lady spark some anger in him and reminded him of the rejection he had, but the lore goes out that he ended up dying the same night. Some say by suicide and others say by strangulation by rioting villagers who witnessed the encounter. After his death, Sava was buried, not in a churchyard, but near the crime scene that this treacherous moment took place, shrouding it in a haunting history. And from then on out, he became the myth of a vampire that people fear to this day. The situation escalated when several millers who were working were staying overnight at some mills on the Rogasia River. These millers were all found dead, all of them with bite marks on their necks, and for some reason this moment made it clear that the villagers that this was the work of Sava and his revenge and he was now a vampire. Maybe some overlying guilt occurred for this weird incident or maybe, who knows, maybe they saw things that we just don't understand. According to some locals, when they did some investigation to see if Sava was in fact a vampire, they dug him up. Sava had opened his eyes and stared back at them and they drove a stake through the corpse's chest just to be sure. And supposedly a butterfly flew out, which disturbed the priest, and he failed to pour some holy water on Sava. And it is said that this butterfly plagued people for a long time. Sava Savanovich is one of the first primary names in the folklore canon in the beliefs of vampires that were native to the Balkans. In Serbian folklore, he usually is considered to be the first vampire. <laughs> And there is one area that he kind of clings to, which is a water mill that is described to be a narrow and dark ravine. For several decades, the water mill was associated with Savanovic, and it is claimed to be the home of the Serbian vampire himself, deep within the Zarazoje forests. At the time, this water mill had stood for 300 years, and the locals considered it to be cursed, and they would never visit it past nightfall in fear of seeing Sava roaming around the area. For some reason, this area, whether because it was just a creepy, desolate location or has significance to Sava that we don't know, local folklore depicted it to be the luring point of where Sava would engage and take victims to suck their blood. Their blood would be drained and they would be stuck frozen with a look of terror upon their dead corpse. And the crazy thing is, throughout history, we always hear vampire stories of Romania and Transylvania, but Sava is one of the first documented vampires and he is from Serbia. By December of 2018, the mill was actually reconstructed and the access road was partially improved, but people still fear it. And it's just one of those stories that is haunting and eerie. And if you like vampire or folklores or supernatural aspects, it's just an interesting story to hear. Sava is remembered to be one of the most eerie and fascinating folklore entities in all of history. And as long as legends keep being passed down, the memory of this vampire lives on and it is just a true creepy story. But yeah guys, this was something different. I wanted to do, wanted to switch it up. I like talking about creepy stuff other than movies. And I just thought I would dive deep into the history of vampires and it isn't so well out there. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. You should definitely subscribe, hit that ding a ling button, harassing you, telling you, hey, it's me, I'm here, and I'm gonna say it one time for the one time and two time for the O's. Give me a hell yeah for horror. Um, check out over here some recommended videos and comment down below if you like this type of content because I want to start getting more into the full floor horror, true story, mythical shit. So let me know if you liked it.